Uh, hi, welcome back. In the first video, uh, we finished uh, the structure of the head of cockroach, right? Now, where we studied that it has got a pair of compound eyes, got a pair of antenna, it has got a pair of fenestrae, and uh, the mouth parts, which include labrum, labium, mandibles, and maxillae, right? And a tongue like structure called as the hypopharynx. Now, uh, we will take up the other two parts of the body of the cockroach that is thorax and abdomen. Now, thorax is made up of three segments. We have the anterior prothorax that is the first part near the head, the middle mesothorax and posterior metathorax. So, we have three parts of the thorax, pro, meso, and meta thorax obviously as uh, we discussed in the first video that every segment is going to be made up of four sclerites dorsal terga ventral sterna and two lateral purons right so they will make up one segment so prothoracic uh, segment is made up of four sclerites same for meso, same for metathoracic. Okay. The meso and metathoracic bear a pair of spiracles. Now, to take in oxygen, uh, the uh, cockroach does not have nostrils openings like us for the air to go in. Instead, it has got 10 pairs of openings which are called spiracles. Right? Two pairs are present in the thorax and eight are present in the abdomen. Right? So, ten pairs of respiratory openings, these respiratory openings are called as spiracles. Right? So, out of the three uh, segments, pro, meso and meta, the spiracles are present in the mesothorax and metathorax. Apart from this, uh, obviously, if uh, thorax is the dorsal part of thorax, the ventral part of thorax. Right? The dorsoventral structure is Dorsally, it will show a pair of wings. Right? Again, one wing in the mesothorax, one in the metathorax. No wing. Only two pairs of wings are there. One in the meso, one in the meta. And ventrally, it has got three pairs of walking legs. It is arthropod, jointed feet. Right now, so it has got three pairs. Three pairs means three segments. So, every segment is one, one pair each. So, out of three segments, pro, meso, meta. Pro, mein you ventrally, you will only find a pair of legs. Here, you will find legs, you will find wings, you will find spiracles, meso mein. Meta mein also you will find wings, you will find uh, legs and you will find spiracles. Theek hai na? So, spiracle prothorax mein nahi hai, wing prothorax mein nahi hai. Prothorax mein agar koi structure hai, to ventrally a pair of walking legs is present in the first segment that is prothorax. Okay. Dorsally, upper, the thorax bears two pairs of membranous wings, forewing and hind wing. Forewings and hind wings. So, forewings, mesothorax mein, hind wings is in the metathorax. So, forewings, first pair of dark, opaque, thick wings which are protective in function, which are more protective. Right? Uh, in the NCRT, it is given as the name Tegmina. Right? The four wings are called Tegmina. Hind wings, they are thin. So, ye agar thick hai, to ye thin. Broad membranous. Right? These are opaque. Delicate and transparent. So, ye opaque hai, ye transparent hai. Second pair of the wing attached to tergum of metathorax. Metathorax ka tergum, dorsal side pe. They are useful in flight. They are the true wings. So, four wings are more protective 
and hind wings are the one which are actually used for flight right so wings uske baad ventral side pe niche ki taraf it will show three pairs of walking legs each leg is five jointed arthropoda jointed feet or and segmented covered with sensory bristles and spines now do you see these hair like structures on the entire leg of the cockroach these are bristles sensory bristles and spines each leg has five podomeres right starting with coxa this is coxa if you follow my cursor here this is coxa look at this this is an actual image of the ventral side of the cockroach right now so this is the coxa then this junction here is called as the trochanter look at this one this part this part is the trochanter now attached to the trochanter is the femur ye dekho this is the femur femur se attached hai tibia dekho this was the femur so this becomes your tibia and tibia ke baad aayega tarsus right so this entire thing is called as the tarsus now tarsus has got five tarsomeres five if you can see the labeling t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 out of which the last tarsomere can you see it has got a hook like structure here right so last segment bears a pair of claws and a aerolium helpful in clinging na aerolium is uh, this area last part hai to ye jo sticky area hai now it is uh, the part through which the cockroach can attach itself to a surface and move along right now the aerolium the sticky part theek hai so once again we have the coxa trochanter femur tibia tarsus tarsus made up of five tarsomeres t1 t2 t3 t4 and t5 theek hai so spiracles wings and legs these are the three structures which are present in the thorax of a cockroach coming to abdomen the largest of all the three areas which are the three areas in the cockroach we've got the head the thorax and the abdomen abdomen is the largest of the three regions contains most of the viscera segmentation is conspicuous and we've got an image for you segmentation you can see clearly see the segments both dorsally and ventrally abdomen consists of 11 segments of which the 11th is reduced and fused with the 10th so what is seen is actually only 10 segments dorsally upar se each segment will have terga niche ventrally sterna or those sides pe it will have pleuron right so the same structure given here now as far as the head and the thorax was concerned the structures in the male and the female remain the same but abdomen is one area where male and female ka differentiating features are seen so on the basis of external morphology when you can differentiate between a male and a female organism it is said to be exhibiting sexual dimorphism right now so cockroaches they exhibit sexual dimorphism so from morphology you can tell whether it is a male structure or a female male organism or a female organism in males anal styles are present in segment 9 right now have a look here ye dekho now this is the dorsal view ye male cockroach hai ye female cockroach hai can you see the presence of an anal style right now now this is the dorsal view this is the ventral view dekho yahan pe diya hai ventral view so male ke ventral view mein you can see the anal style right attached to segment number 9 absent in female so anal style is a differentiating feature between a male cockroach and a female cockroach most abdominal segments lack appendages there nothing come on, coming out of the abdomen but segment 10 bears a pair of large segmented cerci cord like structures to called as anal cerci have a look at this 
can you have this cord like structure anal cerci now which is seen both in the male and the female so anal cerci is not a differentiating feature for sexual dimorphism anal style is right so anal cerci is visible in both dorsal ventral view they are sensitive to air movements including sound perhaps to ground vibration maybe that's what helps them to save uh, from the predator from the enemy eight pairs of spiracles are present in the abdomen right we mentioned about 10 pairs of spiracles are present in the cockroach two pairs in the thorax and eight pairs in the abdomen genital openings are present now genital openings are called as gonapophysis right now sorry uh, they are called gonopores the genital openings are covered by chitinous plates these chitinous plates are called gonapophysis right in the male there are three gonapophysis three plates which cover the male reproductive opening whereas in females you got three pairs total chair so on the basis of the presence of gonapophysis either three or three pairs right now you can differentiate whether it is a male cockroach or a female that's why it is said to be exhibiting sexual dimorphism so anal uh, presence of anal style in the male number one and number two presence of gonapophysis right you have three gonapophysis in the male cockroach three pairs in the female cockroach right uh, male may it is also called as a phallomere p h a l l m o r it's called as a phallomere so when we come to the reproductive structure we might actually even study what are these phallomeres right now so as far as uh, this is concerned now apna kya kya ho gaya abhi head ho gaya thorax ho gaya abdomen ho gaya ye teen hua matlab we have done the morphology of cockroach right next week we will take up three systems right now two small one big right accordingly we will try and finish into the next two sessions we have six systems to do and so accordingly we will plan out right okay thank you all thank you so much